All right, let's transition to like the software for getting our live stream to the interwebs, to YouTube or Facebook, wherever it's going. Are you like an OBS guy or do you recommend something else for that? Now, well, so there's kind of like a couple different routes you can go with your like with your streaming system. So the first one is what I consider more um, budget conscious, entry level, can work great for a lot of like small to mid sized churches who are like, hey, we just want to spend you know, maybe like three to four thousand dollars on our live streaming system. That includes cameras, a video switcher, and then the software we'll need. So that's this setup that I'm focusing on. Cause I think three to four thousand dollars is is pretty reasonable for a for most churches to to build a robust system. Um so from the software standpoint with that setup, I recommend using ProPresenter for not only your presentation, but also for your live streaming needs. Um so what you can do is you have multiple, let's say we do the Sony a6400s, you have those going into an A10 Mini Pro for a little four input video switcher. And then the A10 Mini Pro, uh, it doesn't own, not only does it switch the live action video, it also functions as a video capture device for ProPresenter. Um, so then you'll be piping in your video feed into ProPresenter. Um, you can configure ProPresenter however you want with all the screens and you can have a screen for your in-person congregation. You have a screen for your live stream. Um, it's amazing. Like I really think what ProPresenter did in the past year of coming out with this live stream capability, it pretty much got rid of the need for OBS, Wirecast, you name it, Ecamm Live. I think they're great. They're great pieces of software and like I still use them for other purposes outside of uh, worship ministry. Um, but ProPresenter combines that presentation software with the live streaming and it just like, it saves you so much. Like it, when it comes to like the thing about before you'd have to send lyrics and graphics out of ProPresenter to like your other live streaming software. And it's just kind of like a, a clunkier setup where now you don't have to do that. Like you don't have to send NDI feeds. You don't have to use a deck link or something to send it to another computer. You can just overlay the lyrics or graphics onto your, your line cut from your switcher and then send it online. So that's the, the, the more entry level setup I recommend. And then I think like if you want to go kind of bigger than that, like the next upgrade from there would be a, like a truly like all hardware setup where um, you're using a bigger switcher, maybe like the ATEM Television Studio HD or ATEM Production Studio 4K or something bigger, and you you're you're cutting all your video, you're overlaying lyrics and graphics inside the video switcher, which often means you have to have another piece of hardware like a Decklink Duo to send multiple screen outputs from ProPresenter into the switcher. Um, so it's it's all hardware. It's more ro maybe perhaps more robust and reliable. Um, your computer doesn't have to do as much encoding, but it's going to cost you more, right? So it's going to be a lot more gear. And that setup, you're looking at like you know close to ten thousand dollars all said and done. Um, so those are kind of my recommendations. It's like, do you want to do a three to five thousand dollars setup, or do you want like a ten to fifteen thousand dollars setup? The, the, anything in between is kind of awkward. Yeah, I know you uh, coach a lot of churches, like in this very thing right here. What percentage of them do you think is you are using the pro presenter setup that you just talked about? Not very many yet because it's so new. Yeah. So everybody, like when, especially when early twenty twenty hit, like all the stuff went down. Everybody went online. It was like OBS, Ecamm, Wirecast, um, many of these things. That that's what I recommended a year ago. But now it changed so much, and um, I just released a, kind of my new beginner live streaming setup video for churches a couple weeks ago um, that talks about this very thing I've been talking about with ProPresenter. Um, and now I think I think it'll start to catch on. Like the, there's like four, forty thousand people have watched that video so far. So it's like I think churches who are kind of maybe tired of using OBS and like some of these other streaming software, it's like, oh, we already had ProPresenter anyway. Why aren't we using it to just stream? Um, and then some of its integration with like Resi is really cool um, for multi-streaming and reliable streaming. Um, but you can send it straight to YouTube if you want. You don't have to use Resi um, or you could use Restream. That's another great service as well. So uh, we're still early. I think, I think... Overcoming months and years, we'll see ProPresenter 
uh, kind of be more a, a more dominant solution for church live streaming. Now you're just a little bit nicer in what you just said versus like the email I think I read from you the other day about using Restream or Resi. It's like if if it's so easy to send out your stream to multiple places, why is why are you not doing it? It's weird. We we come up with weird excuses that like there's a, an aspect of them that like, Oh, it sounds like a good idea, but it's really not. It's just like a dumb idea. <laughs> like, I just like, it's like, there's no, like, why would you not want to be streaming to more locations online for more people to engage your stream and discover your church? Like it really makes no sense like th- to not do that. It's so easy to do as well. Um, of course. Yeah. Like it costs a bit of money, but really can churches even afford to not have a, robust online presence these days like to me it's just it's just as important as providing a a roof over people's head when they when they want to come to your church and worship in person it's like we gotta have that virtual version of that online and let's go where everybody's at and uh engage them wherever they're at mixing sound seems complicated but it doesn't have to be get access to our stress-free training to help you create great sound at church by visiting churchsoundmadesimple.com